Hello, Sergeant Devil Dog here, and welcome to my latest video in my series Minecraft for Dummies Ender Pearls is today's topic. In today's video, I'm going to teach you three different methods of actually collecting Ender Pearls. The first one is by using a sword killing Endermen. The second method is trading gold with pigmen. And then the third way is trading emeralds with a cleric. So the first thing we need to do is go find some endermen. The quickest and easiest way to find endermen is go to the Neverworld and actually find a blue biobe. So we'll enter our Never portal. Once we come out of our Never portal, we're looking for a blue biobe. I've actually built a railway line out to our biobe we're looking for. So we'll throw a minecart down and jump in our railway and head out. You can find endermen that spawn in the open world, but they don't spawn that often and they only spawn at night time. So the quickest way and the most common way is to look around a blue biobe. We've got to head out here about 700 blocks. So I'll just jump forward a little bit here in a minute and get out to our biobe. Once we get out here, we'll take our sword out and we'll actually just start walking around and eventually we'll stumble across some endermen. As you can see, the bio we're looking for is the blue one on our right hand side. So, we'll just jump out and just start wandering around. And they'll randomly spawn all over the place. Right here. There's one just over there. Now all we need to do is attack him with our sword. It takes two or three, up to four hits to kill an enderman. Right. And they will not always drop an ender pearl. Just remember while just doing this, you do need food to reheal yourself. Right out, and this one's dropped some ender pearls, so we'll pick them up. We'll replant this grass and the mushrooms to clear out our inventory. Here's another one over here. We'll quickly attack this one. I spent about half an hour in this bio wandering around killing endermen, and it worked out about one in three actually dropped some ender pearls just quickly put this fire out so we don't get damage from it as you can see they're constantly jumping around so it takes a fair bit to kill one of these and at the end of our half hour of killing endermen we ended up with nine ender pearls couple more we'll attack these ones and there's another two ender pearls as you can see method two is actually trade gold to pigment so we have three stacks of 64 all you need to do is find a heap of pigment in one spot and start throwing gold down on the ground. They will come over and actually pick the gold up and they will give you certain items for the gold bars. The more pigment you can attract, the easier it is to trade and the quicker you'll trade. 
So what we're going to do is run through our three bunches of 64 gold and then work out what items we get and how many of each we get. So simply just keep throwing it out on the ground. Alright, there's our first lot of ender pearls. Alright. You've got a few bundles of arrows. We've got some potions of fire resistance. Now what we'll do, I'm going to go over here and empty out some of our inventory. I'm going to place nine ender pearls in the cart because that's how many we got from killing endermen and then we'll see how many we get after we trade all our gold. I'll take a couple of these books of enchantment out, take our fire potions out to free up some room. Now we'll go pick up our items and then we'll start throwing some more gold down. A lot more arrows, sand, leather now we're up to four ender pearls Just a couple more enchanted books some more potions a lot more arrows so what we'll do is we'll just wait for these pigmen to finish picking up the last of the blocks of gold and then we'll work out an inventory. Another enchanted book, more arrows, obsidian, enchanted boots, silver ingots right. have a potion of fire resistance not too many left now this took about half an hour to go through our three bundles of gold I did have to go back to the cart a couple of times to discard some items Rightio, looks like only a couple left. So we'll pick those items up and let's see our inventory. Another potion. So we've got five potions of fire resistant. We've got five enchanted books. We've got a heap of leather, gravel, obsidian, quartz, and our what we were after. We have 18 of our ender pearls so out of 3 times 64 we got 18 right our third and easiest way is to go find a village and find our cleric we have leveled up our cleric to level 5 and as you can see coming down he will trade five emeralds for one ender pearl at level four. So what we'll do is we'll trade our first stack of 64 to our cleric. And this will give us 12 ender pearls. This is the maximum trades we can do for the day. So we need to actually go away and come back in another couple of days. If you like this video, Please feel free to hit the like button on the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Please feel free to follow me by hitting the bell on the bottom right hand side of your screen. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel. This will let me know the content I'm putting in my videos is what you'd like to see and help my channel grow greatly. Now that we've maxed out our trade for the day, we'll head off and we'll head back to our main house and we'll do an inventory. 
as you can see our three methods of actually trading and fighting so method one is actually using our sword and after half an hour of killing endermen we ended up with nine ender pearls method two was to trade three stacks of 64 gold to pigmen and this ended up with 18 ender pearls this is a good method if you have a heap of gold laying around but by far the easiest method to earn our ender pearls is actually trade emeralds to our cleric he will only trade you a maximum of 12 in any 24 hour period but it's the easiest way if you found this video helpful feel free to leave a comment below and catch you on the next one so bye for now